Hello everyone, I am Kit Clement, and this is a scoop. Today, I'm going to show you how I finger trick the puzzle. Now, finger tricking scoop is something that's a bit personal, I'd say, and just watching one person's finger tricking video is not always going to be the best, because how you finger trick this puzzle may be most comfortable in a different way. Uh, so, as a result, I'm going to start off this video by linking you to some of these wonderful people's videos. I'd hang out with them and, you know, chill. They're pretty cool people. They're also, more importantly, pretty good skewers. So, if you haven't taken the chance to uh, click on one of their videos, looks like, oh, you're stuck with me. Sorry. Okay, so you get to learn how I do finger tricks. Now, first off, let's start with the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer, I start, um, I'm going to do it about, this is my right corner and this is my left corner. I start first with um, my fingers on back like this. So the um, first turn, of course, is going to be here. So my left hand is going to be completely out of the way at first. Um, now, on the right hand, I put my ring finger on this corner, which will become important later. And the first turn is uh, pretty simple. Just um, thumb here, two fingers here, and the ring finger on that corner, and push down. Now, because the ring finger is on this corner, when you turn left and push down, uh, here, this won't get in the way, so you can push down like this. While doing this, re-grip your right thumb so that it comes up front. Now, you should have a three-prong on your right hand. Thumb here, two fingers here, ring finger there to turn that up. And then you have this finger and these three to push up. Okay, now a little faster. A little faster. Now, for the hedge slammer, I essentially do my finger tricks for this the sledgehammer, but in reverse. So again, this starts on left and then right. So I would go first, I have my two thumbs here, and they push down. I go into um, a three-prong thing here, so my thumb's up top here, and my fingers are on the side. And that pushes down. Now I have my two thumbs and fingers up here, which push up here. While I push up there, I re-grip to do a turn here. It's not very good for repeating many times, but with my method, I just use Sarah Intermediate. Um, you don't really need to repeat um, hedge slammers over and over. You kind of just do it once, then maybe a rotation and do it again. Uh, so it's uh, it suffices for me. Let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. Two thumbs here, push down, down, two thumbs here to push up, and then re-grip and turn up. Alright, All right. so now I want to talk about how this works into my uh, center algorithms. So for the U permutation, um, what's really nice about my sledgehammer is that it sets up into the rotation really nicely. So doing it one more time, you'll notice that when it comes up, my hand already is on the back here, which will become the right corner when I do a U2. So as I'm doing this turn, it sets up in very nicely. It's a little bit faster now. A little faster. And full speed. Alright, and the last finger tricking tip I wanted to talk to you about was my L moves. And this is L in terms of FCN, so if this is the fixed corner here, this would be a turn like this. One way I do it is by doing pushing with my um, middle and ring finger on my left hand. And again, this doesn't seem very useful, but um, I'll show you how I use it in my H perm. So, um, on the top here, I have the fixed corner notation version of this algorithm. And in the bottom, I have the Rubik's Cube version. So, let's go ahead and see how this applies. I'm going to put the Rubik's Cube version up because I think this uh, goes in line with more how I turn it rather than the fixed corner notation. Because my fixed corner moves and how I execute. So, alright, let's start this off. R, B, L. So that L turn there. You push here and then um, my right hand is ready to do this turn. Okay. And then... The R, and then this um, big R is like a little L, but with a rotation. 
Okay. Let's do that a little faster now. Okay. A little bit faster. Let's see if we can do a little faster. All right. So that's all I have to say about finger tricking this cube. I hope this is a little bit helpful. Um, if not, um, try to see what you can uh, come up with on your own, or uh, check out the links that I uh, showed you guys earlier for some other scubers to see how they do their finger tricks. All right, so that's all I got for you today for the My Cubing World video. Hopefully you enjoy uh, tomorrow's Cubing World video. We'll see you next time.